and get mid. Takes a lead to turn one. He pushes up the racetrack. That hands the lead to Calvin. Look out on the back straight away. Get mid all over the racetrack. Now Ricky Lee goes to the inside. You got Wozlowski currently running in third. Great first lap. Now Wozlowski dives to the low line. Move him to second. Ricky Lee out front. Calvin back to third. Blaine Whitson and Davis running side by side for fourth. Davis takes a spot coming up turn number two. Running in six. The guys won the main event here two weeks ago. That's Tyson talking to his father-in-law. One spot behind him. Hot Rod Kaylee, the yellow number 92. Davis with a faux pas. He goes to the inside. He keeps on racing. We stay green. And you got to look at the right rear of the bent metal on Davis's car. That could end up being a flat tire. We'll check that as he comes by the next time. Good size lead for Ricky Lee over Wozlowski. Now Tyson Tockington attacks the inside of Calvin. We go yellow. A car, it looks like the number 22 of Gitmit, I believe. Over by the Ahern Reynolds sign. Flat. Ricky Lee, your leader, Wozlowski second, Vincent running in third, Calvin fourth, his spot is Talkington, Talkington to the inside of Calvin, move the 48T car up to fourth, Hot Rod Kaylee bobbles in the corner, he gets passed by Chuck Becker in, the number 77, Ron Bartels, and Whitson, boy what a save that was, black 48 car was totally sideways come off turn number four, he saves it, but he comes under the attack of the 48T Tyson Talkington. A little bit of contact coming off two. Whitson maintains third place. Chuck Becker from 11th now up to fifth. That's the convertible, the black 29. Not sure if those two 48 cars are racing friendly or not. Wozlowski all over Lee into turn number three. Lee beats him back to the strike. Wozlowski again takes a look at the inside. Lee barely maintained the lead over Wozlowski. Wozlowski again goes to the low line. Lee going to beat him back to start finish. There'll be seven laps down, 13 to go. Still Blaine Whitson in third, Tyson talking in fourth, Becker running fifth. Sixth spot Bartell, seventh Underwood, eighth Calvin, ninth spot. Is Davis, 10th is Hot Rod Katie, 11th is Rowe, and 12th is Skillman. Lap car right in front of the leaders. Whitson way sideways in the corner once again, gathers it back in. He's got Tyson Talkington all over the rear end of his car. A little bit of contact that time down the back straightaway. 33 car heads in the infield. That's Skillman. Talkington trying the inside of Whitson. Whitson a better drive. No, maybe they make contact down the back street. That's not the first time they've made contact in this race. And Tyson Talkington comes out with third. Halfway, 10 laps down, 10 to go. All of a sudden, Ricky Lee pulls away from Wozlowski about a third of a straightaway lead. First car to go a lap down, that is Charles Rowe as Lee drives around the outside of him. There'll be eight laps to go this time by. Gilman got to come back on the racetrack. Believe he'll be two laps down the number 33 car. Guy in second place. This is the best ever run he's had at Paris Auto Speedway in the Super Stocks. Now Charles Rowe takes the number 57 car to the infield.
Here comes your leader off turn number four. That's the white 81. Second spot, the white and red 30. Third spot, the red and black number 48. They're not done with lap traffic yet. And indeed, they're hitting lap traffic right now. Trouble on the front straightaway. Contact between Hot Rod Kaylee and Skillman. And that was just a couple cars in front of Leader Lee. Then they make more contact in the corner. Lee momentarily trapped behind Calvin. He gets by Calvin. He's going to go by Skillman. Now Wesloski caught behind the two lap cars racing side by side. That allows Lee to advance his lead. Three laps left this time by. Charles Rowe coming back out of the racetrack in the 57. He's lost a couple laps. There'll be two to go this time by. Should be clear sailing the rest of the way for the number 81, Ricky Lee. Tyson talking to knifes his way inside Calvin. He's setting his sight on second place car, the 30 Wesloski. Talkington puts a lap on his father-in-law, the 92 Hot Rod Kaylee. Kaylee slowing way down. Skillman slowing again. Skillman headed back to pit area. Last lap flag about to fly. One to go for the number 81, Ricky Lee. Wesloski still running in second. Last time going into turn number three and four, a past winner champion here at Paris Auto Speedway. He's going to win the second Super Stock main event of the year. The victory goes to Ricky Lee. Second is Wesloski. Third spot goes to 48T Talkington. Fourth goes to Whitson, the number 48. And fifth will go to Ron Bartels. And no time on that one due to the yellow flags. You had your hands full there for a while, Ricky. I did. I, I can feel it behind me, but just try to run my own race and get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> you got it over with. You guys were pretty tight through a number of those corners, man. Night. You guys really gave each other enough room to race. Yeah, everybody is clean, so good night. Fun. <laughs> and like I've been talking all night, this is all this is all family gig, right? All your friends and family help you do this? Yeah, for sure. Got to thank my dad, Mike and Shane. My family always comes and watches. Lee's Auto Body. Yeah. About it. <laughs> I know there's more I forgot though. He's forgot more, but congratulations. Nice wheel job. Put on a nice show for the fans tonight. Had a picture taken with your dad. That'll go. That'll work. Scott, that's the best I can do.